Well, howdy there, YouTube. It's John Dog, and look at me building my old fashioned piston door over here with all this, this hair cool stuff. And, uh, it's all cool. And got us some piston stuff going on on this hair. And flip that. And, uh, wee wee. Ain't this fun. Alright, well, okay, so as we all know, that old fashioned piston door way over there is not fun, which is why we're going to be using red power frames today. I have Adam with me here to uh, help demonstrate. Adam, you want to flip the switch over here? Or, I think, yeah. Is it that switch? Yeah. Yes. Anyway, as you can see, these red power frame motors right here, powered by these uh, solar panels which charge the bad boxes which power these, uh, you know, they're powered by the little blue light. Anyway, those are powered by that, and when they receive a redstone signal, they start working. You want to flip the other switch, so it'll go back up. Now, this is a pretty basic setup, and in a second I'll show you how to, to build this on your own a little bit more in depth. Now, you can imagine that this could be ground level, you know, you got your nice castle, and all of a sudden, you know, bam, big castle gate. Of course, you can move those wireless things right over here. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get into how to make this on your own. Right, now over here, I already have the frame set up just to save a little bit of time, but this is 5 by... See, the actual frames are like 5 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, like 5 by 7, although the door itself is not going to be that tall. Now, imagine that this is ground level here, and all this other stuff is concealed underground. Uh, basically, all I have set up right now are the solar panels, the blue electric wire, and the bat boxes. So I'm going to take my frame motors and put those into place, get out a screwdriver and turn them so they're facing the right way uh... now fortunately i forgot to leave this blank so i could actually see which way they're facing now let's see one's gonna go down and one's gonna go up and i can replace that and uh... see uh, this is gonna power them right and as long as the sides right here are blue you know it's powered now, to actually get them to move, we have to use wireless redstone, or you could just use a lever or a button. Uh, it's really just a matter of preference, but I find that it's a lot easier just to do this. So it's going to be like 120 over there. Over here, we're going to do 130. Then we can set these down over here, or anywhere you really want. 120. This one's going to be 130. These look amazing on this texture pack. Yeah, kind of. Uh, and for those that are curious, I'm using Sfax. Then we're going to get our, uh, what do you call that thing? Timer. Going to get a timer. Get rid of these. Get some red alloy wire. And a lever. Place the timer down here. Like that some levers and there's different ways to do this but this is probably the simplest way for people who are kind of new to this and now Adam if you'll flip uh, the one on the left oh no the one on the right sorry I always mix that up the one on the right this should right yeah should go up makes uh, yes. yep also, the timers can be set to different times. Yeah. Now, it takes 0.8 seconds for uh, frames motors to complete one movement. So, you can go ahead and set these down to 0.8, or leave them at 2, or whatever you really prefer. But, now, this is just one kind of basic application. You know, flip the other thing and let it go down. This is pretty much just one kind of basic application, uh, just making simple doors like this. And it's not going down all the way because I kind of fucked this up, but now it should go down all the way. So all these are are red power frames with iron covers inlaid, and you can use different kinds of covers. So, uh, and if you put panels, it allows you to attach items such as battery boxes or other frame motors or torches or ladders or whatever. But uh, that's uh, kind of how to set it up. And now we're going to go look at some different applications. Okay, now here we are at what appears to just be a normal house. And, uh, you know, pretty nice, right? Got a nice garage, but 
If we go inside, we can see... Give me a second. We can see that this garage door, in fact, um, opens. This is an application of those frame doors that we just saw. And I'll go ahead and go down in just a second, and we'll look at how this works. Uh, basically, it's the same same kind of setup. You see here that there's two frame motors, one that goes up, one that goes down, and they're powered by uh, this blue electricity bat box, and there's some solar panels on the roof of the house. But uh, on this one, it was we didn't use wireless redstone, just regular red alloy wire to kind of make it a little bit less complicated, but that's one of the many applications, and uh, we have one more thing to show you. Okay, and finally we have a little bit larger gate. Now you can do these, uh, you know, like in vanilla, using pistons and gravel and fences, but it's pretty super complicated to get one like this tall. So frames make it a lot simpler if I hit the right button. And you just hit a button and it'll slide right down. And uh, this is pretty much the same setup as all the other things we've seen. But I'll go down in just a second and you can look at how it works. See, this is pretty much, pretty much the same setup. Uh, they're using a little bit a little bit different with these different gates uh, to make it just you have to hit the button once and it'll pulse the power um, but I don't even know what those are so to be completely honest the easiest way to do it is just a timer and a lever or a button with a repeater so uh, thank you guys for watching if you have any more questions leave a comment below and I'll try to help you out